Let's take a look at views in PowerPoint 2013. What you're looking at now on the screen is called normal view and this is where you'll spend most of your time in PowerPoint editing and creating slides. There are other views however which have specific purposes and I'd like to talk about those in this video. First of all on the status bar there are shortcuts to a couple of the other significant views. We're in normal view now but there's a shortcut to slide sorter view. Let me go ahead and click that and go back to normal view. There's a shortcut to the reading view. I'll explain that in just a moment. Let's go back to normal. And there's a shortcut to slide show view which previously uh, brought up the active slide on your screen and now takes you to what's called presenter view uh, with the slide on one screen if you have two screens and the presenter control panel on the other screen. I'm going to close this and return to normal view. To take a formal look at views let's go to the view tab on the ribbon. On the left of the ribbon in on the view tab there are the five what are called presentation views. We've talked about normal a little bit. Now let's look at outline view. Outline view will show you your presentation in a text only mode in the outline panel on the left of the screen. You'll see a smaller version of your, uh, of your slide on the right of the screen and an outline of all of the text on that particular slide on the left of the screen. Let's go to slide 11 here. It's a real texty slide and if I wanted to control the outlining of this uh, particular slide I can for example in the second bulleted item here right click and choose demote to make it a sub item of the one above it or right click and promote it back up. So you have the outlining tools here uh, that you're used to seeing in Word for example. I can also simply click after any text that is here and type new text if I wish to enter text in that fashion. And uh, if you're wondering if you can print from outline view, just print an outline of your presentation. Uh, you don't do it from this view. Let's go back to normal view. What you do is go to the file tab, click on print, and in the area that in the drop down area that's called the print layout area choose outline and then here on the right of the screen is a thumbnail of that outline and you can see it is your text only outline which you can then print that's how that works let's move on to slide sorter view slide sorter view was meant to emulate the old light table that your grandfather laid his 35 millimeter slides on and rearranged them before putting them in the carrel and, and popping the carol into the projector. And if you have no clue what I'm talking about, you're probably under age 60. <laughs> but uh, really, this does the same thing that the old light table did. It allows you to rearrange your slides. Let's say I want to take slide number five here and make it slide number two. I can grab it with my mouse, drag it up, and drop it in position two. It becomes the new slide number two. Okay, you see how that worked. I'm going to go back down here and make it slide five again. I can select several slides. Let me click on two, hold down shift and click on four. I've selected all three of those now and I can drag them to another position as a group. Put them right here. Okay, now I'm going to undo what I just did by pressing control Z. To select a non-contiguous group, that is skip some of them, I can hold down control and click various slides and then move that group around um, uh, or not. Okay, so that's selection. That's one uh, Selection and moving is one thing you can do. Another thing you can do from this view is to hide slides. You can right click the slide thumbnail and choose hide slide so that it won't show up in your presentation and will only show up if you go directly to it. Most people hide slides that contain material they might need to make reference to in a presentation but don't want to in their main presentation. To unhide I can right click and click on hide slide again to unhide it. You'll notice I have two slides already hidden in this presentation number 11 and number 12. Uh, you can tell because they're dimmed out in this view and they have a diagonal line down through their slide number. 
Okay, so that's hiding slides. Let's take a look now at the notes page view. And uh, notes page is what you might think it is. It's a thumbnail of your slide with your speaker's notes printed underneath the thumbnail. And let me page down to another slide that has a few notes on it. Um, this is text that I originally entered on the notes area in normal view. Uh, and it shows up on my notes page. I can click on this page and add as much text as I want here. Or uh, a more efficient way to do it really is to type a Word document and then copy and paste it onto this view. Now if you're wondering uh, can I print this notes view of my entire presentation, the answer is yes. Uh, let's go back to normal view, go to the file tab, click on print, and on the drop down for print layout choose notes page and we can page through. Uh, there are 17 pages because there's 17 slides in this presentation. And go ahead and click print and we can print that with a dialog box and either sending it to a PDF or some other printer. Okay, so that's how to print in uh, notes page view. Let's get back here and look at our final view in the presentation views, the one called reading view. Reading view is a new view in PowerPoint 2013. To preview slides, we used to use slideshow view. But slideshow view now brings up the presenter view. Uh, so reading view uh, is a way for you to preview your presentation right within PowerPoint. You can press escape when you're done and get back to normal view here. And that's basically what it's for. Now while we're still on the view tab, let's take a look at the slide master view. This one's a little harder to understand and we'll have some videos on slide masters later. Uh, let me just suffice it to say right now that there is a master slide that holds all the layout options for your slides throughout your presentation. What a presentation really is, is a set of design themes applied to layout masters. And then you supply the original material to those layout masters. Uh, to fill the various placeholders and bulleted lists and titles and so forth to create the presentation. Uh, it's sort of a three-phase uh, strategy where you start with a theme, you apply the theme to the masters, the layout masters, and then you supply the original material on, on the layout master to make a particular instance of the presentation. That's a little abstract, I know. But um, your concern with the masters uh, is for global editing. If you want to change anything throughout an entire presentation, uh, you can add or edit the element on the slide master and it will change on every slide throughout the presentation. We'll talk more about slide masters on future videos. Let's close master view now and get back to normal view. Go back to our view tab and just point out that there are also, there are also handout masters and notes masters. These are primarily used for formatting the way you want uh, handouts and notes printed. Uh, and the slide master is mainly for doing global edits to your presentation. Okay, let's say we want to add a logo for our company to every single slide in the presentation. Put it on the slide master and it will show up on every slide in your presentation. Okay, there's a couple other views and those are on the slide show tab and that is view from the beginning or from the current slide. And that's what they're called slide show views, either from the beginning or the current slide. Let's click current slide and what you're going to see is PowerPoint's new presenter view, which is just a fabulous uh, new tool in PowerPoint. It works really well. We'll dedicate a video to the this presenter view. What you're seeing on your screen is the control panel for presenter view. I actually have two screens and I can see my slide on one of them and the presenter view on the other one. And typically this is the way you'll present now. You'll, be, you'll have this view on your uh, computer that you're looking at while you're presenting and your audience will see a screen, what's being projected on the screen, which will be the slide itself. Okay, so let me close this and get back to normal view. And those are the various views I wanted to talk about uh, with PowerPoint 2013. Let's review quickly. The presentation views, normal view where you, where you will spend all of your time, 
uh, outline view, which may be useful, uh, if you, especially if you want to look at text and edit text, large amounts of text on slides. Slide sorter view for rearranging and hiding your slides. Note pages for a way to print handouts and reading view for previewing your uh, slideshow. Slide master will be useful for global edits. Handout and notes masters are useful for formatting uh, your handout and notes pages. And on the slideshow menu, slideshow from beginning and slideshow from current slide will, will start presenter view and allow you to preview and actually present your slideshow. This is a little bit long. There's lots of views in PowerPoint, and that's what they're all about.